Welcome to this presentation. Today we look at KCC Mathematics Paper 1 2018, question number 9 and question number 10. So on question 9, two towns R and S are 245 kilometers apart. A bus traveling at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour left town R for town S at 8 a.m. A truck left town S for town R at 9 a.m. and met with a bus at 11 a.m. Determine the average speed of the truck. So what we'll do first is we are going to sketch. So we have the information in a diagram. So we have two towns, town R and town S. And the two towns are 245 kilometers apart. Then a bus traveling at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour left town R. So we have got the bus. It's leaving town R for town S at 8 a.m. And then it's traveling at 60 kilometers per hour. Then a truck left town S, so from town S we have got a truck. So it's leaving town S for town R at 9 a.m. And the speed we had not given, so it's leaving at 9 a.m. And it met with the bus at 11 a.m. So we have the meeting point somewhere here. And the time is 11 a.m. So we are required to determine the average speed of the track. So let the speed of the track be x kilometers per hour. So the first thing we need to determine the distance the bus had covered, that is by 9 a.m. when the truck was leaving town S. So at 9 a.m. the bus is somewhere here. Still moving at 60 kilometers per hour and the time now is 9 a.m. So that is a difference of one hour. So the distance that the bus had covered in one hour is simply, so distance is speed times time, and the speed is 60, the time taken is one hour, so that is 60 kilometers. So that is the distance that the bus had covered in one hour before the truck left town S. So at that particular point, the remaining distance between the bus and the truck is 245 minus the 60 kilometers that had been covered and that is 185 so the distance shared for this case is 245 minus 60 kilometers which had been covered and that is 185 kilometers. The next thing is to determine the time taken by both of them to meet. So from this point here, that is at 9 a.m. and also from town S at 9 a.m., both the bus and the truck took the same time to meet. So that time which was shared amongst them is the time between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. So that is 11 minus 9, which is 2 hours. Another thing we also need to know is the relative speed. Now for the truck and the bus, they are approaching each other. So that means the relative speed is obtained by adding their speeds. So we have 60 plus x. So from here 
we know that relative speed is equal to the distance covered all over the time taken. So that is shared distance over the time shared. So from this we'll form an equation that will help us determine the value of x. So the relative speed is 60 plus x and we equate that to the distance 185 all over the time which is 2. So that is 60 plus x is 92.5 so this implies that x subtracting 60 on both sides will have x as 32.5 kilometers per hour so that should represent the speed so we have 32.5 kilometers per hour next for the last part That is question number 10. In the parallelogram WXYZ below, WX is 10 centimeters, XY is 5 centimeters, and angle WXY is 150. So we have the diagram as shown here. Then calculate the area of the parallelogram. So the area of the parallelogram is calculated as base times height. So already we know that the base is 10 centimeters but we do not know what the height is so we need to determine the height in this case. So this line meets the base at 90 degrees so that we have it as the height. So if we produce this line that is line wx like that then we know that this angle here is 30 degrees angles on a straight line so this angle 30 degrees and this angle here are corresponding angles so we have 30 degrees at this particular point corresponding angles are usually equal remember wz and xy are parallel lines and we'll treat w x as a transversal line so with that we have a right angle triangle here remember w z and x y are two parallel sides of a parallelogram which are equal so here should be five centimeters so considering this triangle here we'll be able to get the value of h which we'll in turn use in this formula here so h 5 centimeters and 30 are related by so we have opposite over hypotenuse so that is sine so sine of 30 degrees is equal to opposite h over hypotenuse 5 so that implies that the height h is simply 5 sine 30 so using this in the formula the area therefore becomes the base which is 10 times the height which is 5 sine 30 and when we multiply this we simply get 25 square centimeters and that is it for this video thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video